In this video, we just want to create a menu inside the game. So let's go to the canvas and right click, create a new panel. And let's go to the anchor here, centralize it and click Alt and also centralize it. I just want to scroll a little bit using the quick tool here and select the panel, minimize it a little bit. So, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> here's the panel. So make sure you click here, Alt, click here. Yeah, and after that, I can select the panel and just try to minimize it a little bit, something like that. I need to put it here. So this is the menu that I have. Awesome. Yeah, so inside this menu, uh, we just need to fix its, uh, let me say this, I need to fix its anchors to be responsive. And also I need to uh, make something else. Here, I just want to name it as my menu. We have something called wrapper. So all the time when you make such a thing like this, try to make uh, some sort of uh, wrapper. So because the menu got items and generally we don't put this item directly inside the menu. We put them inside the wrapper. So you can come here to the menu and create a new empty game object. So this game object is going to be transformed by default because it's inside the menu. I'm just going to name this wrapper. So if you're familiar with web development, you know what is wrapper. If you don't feel familiar, if not familiar, just uh, do this. So yeah, I put this wrapper inside the menu. So it's just going to be almost the same identical to the menu size. Here, and just fix the border of it to something like this. Make it in the, make the anchors on the border. After this, we need to uh, insert, uh, let's say, make a new button inside this wrapper. So I'm just going to uh, create a, a new pen inside this wrapper. So you can come here and make pen. I create a toggle. No way. You come here, UI, create pattern. All right, this pattern should be inside this wrapper. So you can uh, keep the size of the pen by clicking shift on the keyboard, try to move it something like that. And put this here inside the menu to this way. All right, you can scale this a little bit to make this pattern something like that. All right, so I can double click in this pattern and make it, as I said, here. But generally, because we might have more than one pattern inside this menu, I do recommend to use some something called layout. So here, if you go to the wrapper, we have something called uh, layout, so you can search for layout. So we have horizontal layout, we have vertical layout. So the horizontal just horizontally, and the vertical is just vertical layout. You, the elements are going to be from the top to the bottom. So I'm just going to select vertical layout. And so once you select vertical layout, and you just made it to the upper left, as you can see here. In case of horizontal, we generally make it to uh, the middle lift all right but in the case of uh, uh, you know it depends also in the language so if you're developing uh, application for Arabic we start from middle right in English middle left and so forth but here because we're talking about vertical we're just gonna select upper left and we're talking about spacing which is uh, basically a margin between elements but right now we just got this pen uh, I just want to do some changes to this pen here so uh, you can go to wrapper, disable uh, the vertical layout group, and just go to this pen here. You can take it outside the wrapper. Okay, let me just put it here. I just try to do my work on this pen. Then I just gonna <laughs> move it back to uh, just move it back to inside the wrapper. So here is the pen. I just want to put an icon. And that icon is going to be very similar to the one here inside the live here. So let's just copy the image from here and just go to the text and 
of the band pasted here so you have to move it inside the object here or you can go here reset it so once you reset it uh, once you reset it th when the image inside the button here you see once you collapse it it's inside the button so this means the the size of it gonna be inside the button so this is something awesome so this is yeah this is the the image you can fix its border uh, here its anchor to the border of it and also you can fix the text here so I'm just gonna make the text something like that and yeah so I can change the image here for example if you select this image I can go and select this image for example and here let's say I want to change that to I don't know say this one yeah and this is the text okay fix the anchors all the time here all right and also go to text and make it best fit here as you can see yeah we got this pen it's perfect and it's well designed so I can take this pen and move it inside the wrapper right now okay so it's inside the wrapper you can just go to the wrapper and just make the vertical layout group as you can see here so right now we just got only one uh, button and the layout as you can see here it's just messed up so we can go to the button and we can go here to the wrapper have some sort of padding that's okay you can put padding from list for example five and let's say two three let's say one 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 and let's put one for spacing okay this is the button and we need to attach more than one button so you can, can come here and double locate you can see we have many patterns right now so keep duplicating buttons all right you might say all right that's cool but i need to make like you made the layout it's really great okay but i need to make like scroller vertical scroller so this way you we managed to use uh, the menu we created a menu here as you can see we created uh, an image and here we see we created a uh, wrapper and inside there's wrapper we put a vertical layout you can put horizontal layout it depends on the way that you want and here we put many buttons and the the position that rig transform is driven by vertical layout group so once you make a vertical layout group all the elements inside this item gonna be uh, driven by vertical layout group so whatever change you made it's not gonna take effect because some of the values here are dependent on the parent layout group so this is something other thing to be noticed here when you work with layout group so yeah in this ne next video I just wanna show you how to convert this re uh, great menu <laughs> into a vertical slider uh, you can apply the same thing to a horizontal slider and it's just gonna be easy using uh, you know the the unity ui system so yeah thank you guys again for watching all the time here's ahmad nasr from ahmad see you in the next video